There's a little more traffic than I thought there would be, but it really isn't bothersome. And with the wind chimes, it's rather nice. It's an absolutely beautiful day. Blue skies, breeze. Big difference from yesterday where it was so hot you could have cooked eggs on the pavement here. Juan is ensconced in the wood shop. I suspect that is his new man cave and he will never come out again. I need to do some weeding here. As you can see, a little bit overgrown. However, there is a local feed store and hardware store where I can pick up some implements for the day. And then next time I come up, I'll bring up my usual stuff. I cannot identify this tree over here, which uh, has the slightly reddish tinge to the leaves. I'll try and get a close up of it too. Um, and I'm wondering if any of you, sorry for the jiggly camera, I'm walking. Uh, if any of you can identify what this is. bark a little better there. It's a beautiful shade tree. Uh, I'm thinking of putting a little bench under this tree. Um, it'd be nice to put one under there, but I think that it might get hit by the plow uh, when we plow in the um, winter time. The uh, neighbor's garden is just gorgeous. I can't get into her back garden, although I hope I can make friends with her sometime. And uh, it looks like she's got a really beautiful garden back there. Mine's a little sunnier than hers. In fact, it's all sun. Um, I'm thinking seriously of getting some sort of a tree for the middle of that. Um, I'd love a rowan, but huh, they're really, really messy trees. Uh, maybe a willow. One of those little willows. Uh, they're really, you know, they have a tendency to die easily. Um, maybe a crab apple. They grow fast too. But that way I could have a little shaded part of the garden as well. Because it looks like it gets sun all day long. It's south. So anyway, new house. We're just up for a day or two to do some work get the internet going, I hope, and uh, look around a little bit. Uh, we were unable to stay overnight at the house because the bed was gone. The one that was left here when we signed off on the house and uh, <laughs> when we came back, it was gone. Uh, I think he had promised it to some student, but it still means someone out there has a key to my house and they walked into my house after I bought it and took the bed. That's a big no-no. So we stayed at the, you ready for this? Fairly Motel and Drive-In. We got there too late to see the movie, but apparently during movie time, you can open the back curtains of your hotel room and there, ta-da, is the drive-in screen. And there is a uh, speaker on the wall. You turn it on and you get to hear the movie. <laughs> it's a great place. Um, it looks like the Bates Hotel from the outside. It's kind of creepy. But inside, it's been completely refurbished. And it is now a, uh, it looks like a Marriott inside. It's gorgeous. I highly recommend it. Fairly Motel, Fairly Vermont. Um, F-A-I-R-L-E-E. -E. That's, the, that's the big city across the bridge from here. Uh, that away a bit. Um, they have a Cumberland Farms. <laughs> I have moved to a metropolitan area. More later. <laughs>